Hello, my name is Nikos Underhauf. I'm with the Australian Centre for Robotic Vision and the QUT Centre for Robotics in Brisbane, Australia. In this talk, I want to share our work on learning object-centric navigation policies on semantic maps with graph convolutional networks. We are interested in developing robots that can help humans in their everyday lives, for instance, at home. In this work, we focus on the scenario where a robot has to find certain objects around the house, like the keys or an ebook reader. We are going to learn navigation policies that allow robots to execute these tasks. In contrast to prior work that has often used raw pixel inputs to learn navigation strategies, we are going to use a high-level graphical representation of the environment. Such a graphical representation will contain nodes that represent poses the robot can navigate to. It will also contain nodes that represent objects in the environment, such as the bed, the TV, or the sofa. Thanks to recent advances in semantic SLAM, we are now at a stage where we can construct these graph maps that contain object and semantic information. Notice, however, that the objects that we are interested in finding in, such as the keys or an ebook reader, are not going to appear in these graph maps. The map will contain static objects, whereas we are interested in finding non-static objects. The distinction between these two object types is going to be important for the rest of the talk. We want to learn a policy that, given a graph map and a representation of a target object, like the keys in this example, outputs navigation goals that allow the robot to find the target object efficiently. Notice that the target object, as I explained, is going to be non-static, so it is going to appear in different places of the environment, but with different probabilities. For instance, the keys might have a high probability of appearing at the bedside table, on the kitchen bench top, or maybe at the dining table, but it will have a very low or even zero probability of appearing anywhere in the bathroom. We hope that the policy can learn to exploit this underlying, but hidden and unknown, probabilistic model. To address this problem, we first have to find a suitable representation that allows us to represent the semantic information of these object landmarks in our graph, and we have to find a suitable network architecture that can digest the graph structure and learn a policy. Let's look at the representations first. We propose to use word vector representations that have been trained for text classification, for instance using the fast text model. So in our graph map, we represent every object landmark by its word vector representation corresponding to its class name, for instance, table or chair in this example. Each of these vectors are 300-dimensional. Graph convolutional networks are a generalization of the convolutional networks you are familiar with. Each graph convolutional layer propagates information between neighboring nodes and thereby updates the representation of each node based on the representation of its neighbors. Let's put these ingredients all together. Given a graph map of the environment and word vector representations for all of the object landmarks, we can apply a graph convolution operation to propagate information from the landmarks into the neighboring pose nodes. We can then concatenate the updated representation of the pose nodes with a representation of the target object. And we can then pass this concatenation through a small, fully connected network consisting of just three layers. The output of that is a scalar that represents the probability the policy assigns to each of the post nodes of being the next target the robot should navigate to. To evaluate this approach, we generated a lot of random maps following different random processes with randomized parameters that controlled which non-static objects appeared to which static map objects. For details on this and for details on the training process, please refer to the paper. Our experiments revealed four main results. First of all, and most importantly, we could show that graph convolution networks can successfully learn object-centric navigation policies on semantic maps. We could also see that these policies generalize to unseen environments, and very importantly, they also generalize to unseen objects to a certain extent. Our paper discusses quantitative results in more detail. We also explain or using word vector representations enables the generalization properties to unseen classes. Thank you very much for your interest in our work. 
I'm very happy to answer your questions in the Slack channel of the workshop. Thank you.